It's so hot in New York City. It's summertime. And when it's summer, all you really want to do is eat something frozen. That's right. So today we're going to take you to 10 of our favorite spots for frozen desserts. Oof, they're going to be from all over the world, all types, so many flavors. So be sure to watch to the end to catch all 10 of these delicious, sweet treats. Oh, I'm excited. Our first stop, it's somewhere. It's this, yeah, that's our first stop. Yep, it's our first stop. It's Joju. So they specialize in Vietnamese sandwiches. More a unique, modern take on them. What they have here is Vietnamese coffee. Not just the ice version. They make a special frozen version. Oh, it's perfect on a day like today. We had to start off with some coffee. We love Vietnamese iced coffee, but this one is special. They blend it with ice, so it's really like a coffee smoothie. And they use Cafe Du Monde coffee, the famous coffee from New Orleans. So let's take a sip of this. Or a few sips. Oh, it's good. You get that sweet and condensed milk. You get that chicory coffee of the Cafe Du Monde. Oh, this is really is like a perfect Vietnamese coffee smoothie right here. Second stop is here outside Teacup Cafe. Yep. We're on the other side of Elmer's Queens here. It's like a little Thai town here. There's a lot of Thai spots. This spot, Teacup Cafe, is awesome. They're a dessert cafe. They do drinks, but they also do savory food. But we're here for one thing Thai tea slush. At Teacup Cafe, they have a dessert here called Rudy Tootie. So it's a Thai tea slush with bread and cornflakes but after a few times we like it better without the bread so we just asked for a thai tea slush topped with cornflakes so we're going double with the caffeine today first the vietnamese iced coffee and now we have the thai tea slush oh so you get that awesome thai tea flavor and you get to mix it in a slush and then you get it topped with the cereal this this beats any breakfast cereal combo right here folks would you rather have with thai tea I think. there we go you have that Thai tea mixed with that condensed milk, and you have those crunchy cornflakes on top, that texture. Oh, what I like is not too sweet. It's got that perfect Thai tea mix in here. So the ice is very finely ground, so you really still have the liquid of the Thai tea mixed in with the frozen bits. Oh, it's, it's really well blended. Great summer frozen dessert here. Our second stop was delicious and sweet. So now we're off to our third stop. So we're outside Al Naimat, so they do a lot of South Asian sweets and foods here. So we got a very classic frozen dessert here called Kufi. And the beautiful thing here, they make it in-house. So it's not gonna be from a company, it's from them. There's no labeling on it. Let's go. This one is a mango kofi. Mm. It's creamy, but it's very dense. It's not really icy, but it's, it's frozen, but still soft enough. And you taste the mango and that rose water jumps right out. It's really good. They were out of pistachio, unfortunately, but the mango is excellent too. Continuing this crazy adventure of ours, we are outside our favorite Japanese cafe. Yes. So this spot is called 969 Coffee. It's run by Oda. Oda is one of the coolest people in this neighborhood. We love him. We come here to get coffee, sushi, ramen, but he also has a really good frozen dessert. Oh, I'm gonna take it there now. So our next frozen dessert of the day is a matcha shake shake. Why is there a second shake on there? I'm not so sure. Maybe because we have matcha ice cream on top. So what it is, it is matcha 
mix with ice, it's blended with some sweetened condensed milk. Oh, it's lots of matcha in here. We're at a Japanese cafe, you know the matcha is good, so let's dig in. Mmm. Wow. It's not too sweet. It's perfect amount of matcha. I get that people don't, there are people who don't like matcha because it's would be very bitter for them but this one it's a perfect blend of bitterness and sweetness what's also really cool about this spot is that they have outdoor seating jackson heights is not easy to find outdoor seating so you can sip on your matcha shake shake or your coffee and just right outside just take it all in i used to live around the area i never would have imagined that this place would be a japanese coffee shop because this place used to be my hair store I would have thought this place would be a coffee shop. And so of course, this frozen dessert tour will be incomplete without Filipino dessert. Ooh, you could just take a guess what that is. You probably know. We're going to show you in just a few seconds. This is our ingredients for today. Today we have coconut macapono, coconut gel, also with the coconut gel with the red and the green. Uh, we have from the Philippines, I import this, the uh, jackfruit, it's a sweetened jackfruit. And this is our version of the banana toron. It's actually a plantain that I just caramelize it and mix it with jackfruit also. Uh, we have, today we are using a small sago, which is a tapioca pearls. Chickpeas, which is also known as garbanzo, white beans, and sweetened red mung bean, an Asian sweet bean. Also, we're gonna top it with Philippines on ube, or commonly known as purple yam around here. Uh, this is uh, our version of the uh, extracted pureed jackfruit, right here. Uh, flattened rice, also known as pinipe, toasted coconut. And we have a couple of ice cream here, mango sorbet and uve. And barranquillos, it's a um, milk wafer. Top it off. Okay, let's, let's start it. What I'm putting here is a shave ice with evaporated milk. As commonly known, we don't have fresh milk growing up in the Philippines, so we use a canned version of the milk. Well, most of our desserts are a lot of background with evaporated milk. Put in the coconut shrimp. Coconut gel. As you can see, what I'm doing here is like halo halo or any other mostly desserts like this are a lot of made with coconut, as you can see. You know, this very indigenous our country. It's actually called as a tree of life, you know, like we actually build houses from coconut trees. You could from you know making uh, huts, you know, also for food. So that food. Banana. We're gonna put the white beans. Chickpeas is not originally on the uh, halo halo in the Philippines, but this is kind of like we want to add in it, so add a little version to it. Red mung bean. The tapioca pearls. And we're putting the. Uh, on top of the right. The uh, ube. Normally on halo halo, the all the ingredients are usually in the bottom, but we like to do it here in the top so people can you know, take a photo, you know, really understand what halo halo is. Because most Filipinos that have gone to our shop, having halo are not Filipino also, so they can really see what they're really eating here. So. Okay, now we put the uh, ice cream. Get off the it's a little hot in the shop today, so it's a little on the melty side. Finish it up with toasted pinnacle. And coconut flakes. And finish it off with barranquillos. And that's it.
This is purple dose, hollow hollow. Got our hollow hollow. Yeah. -ha! So you got a special treat to watch this being made from scratch. It's our first time trying it from here. We love purple dough, one of our favorite spots here in Queens for desserts. It's our first time trying the hollow hollow. What better than a 90 degree day like this? So let's do it. It is so hot outside, and this hollow hollow is melting. <laughs> the banana. just to get Halo Halo but of course it's always a great time at Purple Doe's with Stephanie and Mark so we ended up staying there for two hours <laughs> now we are outside waiting for our next frozen dessert yeah so this spot is called El Bojillo it was a little grocery store now it's just a little window the guy does classic uh, shave ice off the big block of ice. It's a very New York staple here. They're owned by Dominicans, so they have raspados. So raspado is the f is a shave ice with flavor syrup. So we're gonna check out what flavor we're gonna get, and usually they top with some sweet condensed milk, and we're gonna do that too. Woo. After waiting for five minutes, we have our Coco con piña. So there's a few names for this. In New York, the classic name is piragua, like when they shave the ice off the brick. But there's also raspado, which is like what this is called, but they also call it frío frío. Frío is cold in Spanish, so multiple names, deliciousness Coco. either way. <laughs> so Coco so. con piña, that's coconut pineapple. And you know what mixture that is? Piña colada. Yes. We're this actually... would taste great with some rum. True. This is strictly non-alcoholic frozen dessert but it would be perfect to add some rum in if you have it yep mm. Mm. wow that that condensed milk just adds just a little touch of sweetness mm. it's like oozing Ooh, I think mm. I saved some napkins oh yeah you really taste that pineapple you get the coconut coming in, then you got that sweetened condensed milk. This really, again, this tastes like summer. We love this spot. They finally shaved this ice. And you know you're in Corona, you hear the bachata blaring. Yeah, we're, it's summer in Corona, folks. We are outside of Los Poblanos Grocery. It's a Mexican grocery store here in Jackson Heights. They make nieve, so it's, nieve means snow. So what it is, it's handmade ice. So they have it in this metal tin, and then they add the fruit and sugar mixture, and they mix it by hand inside of this wooden barrel that's filled with ice and salt. So they literally mix it by hand until it comes a slushy texture. Ooh, it's one of our favorites here. It's so refreshing. But let's see what flavor they have today. Telltale sign if there's nieves. Nieves are Mexican ices. So the best way you know there's gonna be nieves around, look for the wooden buckets. You know, we've been all over here in Queens, and if you see it in Mexico, uh, I had it in Mexico City before like this too. That's how you know. Sometimes you'll see them making it by hand on the street. The flavor we got today is pitaya. So pitaya is a cactus fruit. So with nieve, they use a lot of fresh fruit in the nieve, which is nice. So let's take a bite of that. Look at that. You see the seeds on there? Look at that color. Mm. It's very refreshing, this one. It's not too sweet. It reminds you a little bit of watermelon, but it's its own flavor. It's really refreshing. This is what you want. If you don't want something that's cloyingly sweet, this is perfect. It's so refreshing and icy. We've eaten uh, so much dessert. Oh yeah. I so you may be wondering <laughs> why we're outside this Planet Fitness right now. Yeah, we gotta work some of that off, right? Not. Nah, there's this cart right here behind us. What? Right there? Yep. 
they do the classic New York shave ice off the brick, but with some Mexican twists. They have all different fruit flavors. We're gonna get something very special that's sweet and savory. Oh, it's amazing. Come on, Diablito, a mango, por favor. Mango Diablito. What's in it? Yeah, so what's in it that there is freshly shaved ice off the huge block. Oh, it's it's amazing. So then there is mango syrup. There's chopped up mango. There's so much chopped up mango in here. There's chamoy. It's like uh, it's made with pickled fruit and it's uh, salty. And then you have the chili powder. So you get sweet, savory, spicy, salty in this. Oh, it's such a beautiful combination. Mango and chile. Oh, it's so good. So we're going to taste this one. All that mango right there. Mmm. Oh. That little salty and, and savory in there, it really refreshes you on a hot day like today too soon. It's not only sweet, you get that little salty to replenish yourself. Oh, it's incredible. This is mm, so refreshing. So unique. I love the flavors. video vlog series is not complete without coming to the king Chis. the lemon ice king of corona oh what can i say about this place i've been coming here almost my entire life growing up in queens the lemon ice is the king we might add another flavor in there too but the lemon ice is a must here yes. oh it's a queen's classic folks let's go to get out one small peanut butter and one large lemon, please. So we have our lemon ices and... Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so we've met some uh, people Friends. here yeah, some <laughs> who recognize us from YouTube, thanks to John. Hello. Bar. Thank Shout you, John. Shout out to you. Yes. So I have here on my hand, it's the original. And I got something special here. It's the peanut butter ice. Can you believe it? There's chunks of peanut in here. This is a real funky one and we're gonna taste it for you on camera to show you what it's like. Mm. It's dripping. <laughs> no, it's really chunky. Slightly sweet, but you really taste the peanut butter. It's really awesome actually. And somehow with the, the water ice and peanut butter, it's a crazy combination. You wouldn't think it would work. It works really well. I really thought I wouldn't like it, but it's so good. It's damn good. It's good, but this is the best. You gotta go in here with the classic lemon ice. I've eaten this hundreds of times in the dead of winter, in the summer, ever since I was a little kid coming here. Let's get that bite. It's so hot, it's been melting really fast, so. This, there's no top in this lemon ice. It's perfect level of sweetness. The tang, it's got that real lemon flavor in here. They just do it so perfectly. It's creamy. It doesn't have that overly icy texture. It's so good. Yeah. Mm. They're the king for a reason. They're the wow, lemon ice king so for pretty. a reason. This, if you have to pick one, you gotta go with the lemon. So where are we? So it's cool. In this part of Corona, Corona used to be a very old school Italian neighborhood. Uh, it's changed a lot over the years, but this section of Corona still has some Italian influence. So, of course, the Lemon Ice King. Then there's Parkside Restaurant, old school Italian restaurant. Now we're in William Moore Park, AKA Spaghetti Park. So this is the place you come after you buy your ices. You come and eat them here, and you watch the guys play bocce. Ooh. Okay, so this next stop, we are taking you to Colombia. Yes. This is one of our favorite Colombian desserts or Latin American desserts. 
It's one of our favorite frozen desserts here in the city. Cholados. Cholados is like, you see it all over Jackson Heights, Elmhurst in the summertime. It's cholado season. Let's go. This is gonna keep us nice and cool on this hot. Hola. I think it's beautiful right here, this cholado. So much that goes into this. Got the whole process down. Wow, they really have it down to a science here at Prontito. Cholados here are very popular, but the one here at Prontito really stands out. They have it down to a real science. So they crush the ice very finely. Then they put in uh, maracuya, so that's passion fruit syrup. Mora is like a South American blackberry, that syrup. And they add uh, all these different fruits. You have chopped mango, pineapple, apple, uh, maracuya, the actual passion fruit, guanabana. You have a bunch more in here. We're gonna break it down for you as we eat it. Then they put the lechera, which is the uh, sweet condensed milk. They add more ice on top. And then they add more of the fruit syrup. A little more, and they add also coconut flakes. They put more lechetta on top. It's just such a well balanced. Look at it, it's, it's beautiful. It doesn't have too much of the sweet condensed milk. Not, and the fruit is in the middle, so you can eat it, eat the fruit as you get down further into the cholado. So they have it down perfectly here. Mm. <laughs> that patch fruit comes through right away from that syrup. It's a very tangy flavor. Then you get the creaminess of the lechetta in there too. We'll already get a few bites of the fruit. We're gonna have to use a spoon to dig out the fruit properly, but ooh, it's really, and you can still sip this well, because it's icy, but you still have the liquidy element too. It mm. just tastes like the tropics right here in New York. So here's some of the chopped banana. Here's the passion fruit seeds right here from the pulp. And they also squeeze some lime on here too to add a little extra tang to it. Wow, so many flavors, so many textures. That's why this dessert is awesome. Is they have guanabana, which is like one of my favorite tropical fruits. Where is it? I can't find it. I lost it. Right here. Where is that? It's elusive. Crazy, crazy day, we did it. Oh man, we oh hit up gosh. 10 different spots for frozen desserts from Ooh. all over the world. We had Italian ice, we had cholados, we had diablitos, halo halo, and much, much, much no, more. Much a shake, I can't even like, yeah. I don't know how, we did it. Oof, but, but with this kind of hot it. weather, 90 plus degrees is the perfect thing. Oh. So we hope you enjoyed this video today. Please smash that like button for us. Subscribe, hit the bell. You want to be the first to comment, right? Yes, you do. We hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon. Peace.